Hello Capricorn and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today's reading is going to be for love. So in light of February being the month of love, I thought fitting to do a love reading. So again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I am going to start with your energies, Capricorn, and find out what the month of February holds in store for you in the area of love. So let's ask our spirit angels and guides, what would you like to share with us for the energies surrounding Capricorn in the area of love? So let's find out. Spirit angels, guides, what are the energies for love? We've got a flipper. There we go. Again, and that is it. So let's start with the one that flipped over. So you got go the distance. Number 47, going the distance. It's really, it's really taking action. It's, it's really, you know, you've kind of set your mark here as to where the end game is for you and you're ready to, you're ready to go the distance. You're going to do whatever it takes to reach that destination. So you've got a lot of conviction. You've got a lot of determination. You're ready to take action. And you are ready to go to sea. Number seven. To the sea is about really going with the flow of things, the flow of life. As you can see, you're kind of contemplating things here. There is like an arrow of direction. And we do have binoculars here trying to see things from a cleaner lens, trying to see things more closely up. So we want to move into the flow of things, but we need to get our direction right. And sometimes that means taking a little time out and a little space to really figure out what is that direction that we need to go so that we can go that distance and know that we're doing it, doing it, doing it. So then we've got number 22, blessed. So this is a blessing. This is a blessing uh, of some sort. So really feeling at that point in your life where there is some sort of you know information that you might be receiving here when you go to the sea like spirit is sending you a message that is really making you feel a sense of of feeling a blessed place in your life feeling a sense of you know this distance that i'm having to go this action that i'm having to take is really worth it because this is some sort of blessed union so now that we have the energies we really need to delve into the tarot to find out a little bit more about what's going on so for my beautiful sign Capricorn, let's find out you. What is, what is the, the card that kind of represents you right now? What is that card? And you got the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles in the areas of love is really, you know, you've been investing a lot of time and a lot of effort into something. And that time and effort that you're investing, you know, you are waiting patiently to really see it come to fruition, to see it grow. So, you know, relationships are about investment. There's no doubt. Sometimes we have to wait a long time before we see things prosper. And some, for some of us, it, it happens quickly. So those of you that are single, you could be you know, really investing a lot of time in preparing and ready to go the distance because you're getting your information, you're figuring out your direction, and you're really feeling it's a blessed time to now move forward. But for some of you that are in relationships, the Seven of Pentacles is really about the time that you are investing into a relationship. You know, you, uh, you have a lot of patience. You're, you are ready for your crop to grow. You are very confident that you feel that, that this investment is worth it, that the long-term investment is worth it. So let's find out for your partner. Let's find out the card that represents your partner in, in a relationship. So let's see if we can, there we go. And we got the Queen of Cups. So again, we don't go by gender. I only read the card. It's all about energy. Queen of Cups is the energy of your partner or your, maybe somebody that you're interested in. This is a very intuitive person. It's somebody who really is nurturing, loving, very feeling. They would be representative of a water sign. So we're looking at Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign. But what it's saying is it's really, their cup is full of love. They are very very um, honest and truthful and they're very much they love with all of their heart they don't really 
secretly, you know, keep things hidden. They're very emotionally stable and again, very nurturing and loving. So this is a person that really is ready to receive love. They are ready to give love. And, you know, it really is, it really marks um, a time in their life where they're really ready to move forward in a relationship. So if you're already in a relationship, this is somebody who is very intuitive and they are very much about their feelings. And you know the reason you are investing so much time into this relationship is because you're getting so much love and support out of it. And those of you, of course, that are, you know, looking for love, this person is somebody who really has a lot of love to give as well. A very emotionally stable. So let's find out your current situation. Let's see what's happening currently. Spirit Angels Guides, what would you like to share with us about the current situation for Capricorn? And this is all, of course, in the area of love. You got number one, Magician. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. This, of course, is Major Arcana cards. So this is a major thing in your life happening. And this is about bringing heaven to earth. It is really about being able to manifest the things that you want in your life. And if love is something that is extremely important to you, that companionship, that soulmate relationship, you have the power, you have the tools to use them for your highest good, to manifest that into your life. If you're in a relationship, you are manifesting the longevity of a relationship. You are really bringing that spiritual part of your, your life into your relationship and are really allowing the magic to flow in that relationship. If you're not in a relationship and looking for love, then you're manifesting because you've got all the tools right now to bring that love into your life. This is a very blessed time for you because Spirit's saying, hey, this is your time. I'm giving you all the tools that you need. Use them wisely. Beautiful energy. So let's find out advice from spirit. What would the advice from spirit be? So you got the three of swords. Of course, when we see this card, the first thing we think is, oh my gosh, this is heartache. This is not good. No, I am not taking it this way. What it's saying, spirit is saying in that in order for relationships to truly, truly you know, be on a deep level and really give you that balance and peace that you're looking for, it's important for your heart to heal. Many of us have had heartaches. That is just part of human nature. And it's really allowing that healing process to take place. So the advice from spirit is manifest the things that you want. Allow the healing to really take over and really allow that healing energy to be an important part of your journey. Because when you're able to heal and leave the past in the past, you can bring in so much positive energy towards a relationship. Heartache does not have to be the key factor in any relationship. We just have to know how to communicate properly, not keep our feelings inside, and make sure that if our heart needs healing, we need to allow it time to do so. So let's find out what the, the end result here is. What is the outcome for this beautiful love reading for Capricorn? And you got the Page of Pentacles. So there is a message coming. There's a message coming that's really going to start the feeling of a relationship in a very stable and secure way. It's in the beginning stages of something that is really going to bring a lot of stability. You are working together towards bringing that into your life. You're allowing spirit to help you heal your heart in some way so that you can move forward on a new direction in a new, in a new way and know that this is going to be something that is going to bring that stability into your life, that there's no more back and forth energy, that this energy is really solidifying a strength and resilience in your relationship. It's the beginning phases of, the, of, of a new path, a new journey that's going to bring a lot of contentment and it's going to really bring a lot of, of abundance to your life, but it takes time. You need to make that investment because it's going to pay off because this person is so much love to give. This is somebody who really, really wears their heart on their sleeve and they really, really want to be able to shower that love that they feel and be able to extend it into a relationship. And you right now are the magician. You are capable of manifesting the things that you want. 
So now let's find out what you need to let go because in every relationship, it's, it's, we have to let go of something or we need to surrender to something in order to really bring strength and stability in a relationship. So let's find out from our spirit angels and guides what that message is. Ah, oh, okay, that's the one. <laughs> so surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So don't be afraid of change because change is part of life. And again, you've been manifesting change into your life. Don't be afraid of it because it can be positive. Allow the spirit um, and your angels and your guides to help you heal any sort of repair your heart needs so that you can move forward on this new path, this new journey towards stability. Beautiful energy. So now let's get message, another message from spirit. That was our surrender message. Now let's get message from spirit. If you could tell us anything about this relationship, whether, uh, what advice you would like to give. And there we go. And again, look at stability. Set a solid foundation. So the outcome is about setting it in motion, setting a solid foundation making sure that you're both on the same page and setting that stability right in the beginning. Don't be afraid of change. <coughs> Don't be afraid of making those changes because they are really going to help bring this whole blessed union together for you. So now we're just going to get a couple cards from the Love Oracle. Let's find out what the Love Oracle would like to tell us for our beautiful sign Capricorn. What would you like to share with us today for the month of February? There we go. We got a beautiful message here. Okay. So we do have deception. So it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So again, I guess this could also refer to this healing energy. So for some of you Capricorn, you know, spirit is saying that there might be, there might have been some, some deception and somebody is wearing a false mask. It's important for you to release that energy. Let's let that deception go because it's no longer serving its purpose. We cannot be afraid of change because what is change going to do? It's going to bring in this manifestation of bringing in somebody who is truthful and honest and loving, somebody who's not wearing a mask, that they, that they allow their feelings to flow freely. And that's you going to the sea and really bringing that sense of flow back into your life. Maybe you're going the distance to really bring about some change in your life because you have been investing a lot of time and effort into something. Right now, it's important for you to understand that what Spirit is saying is we need, you to, we need your heart to be healed from this sense of deception. We need you to let go and not be fearful of letting go because there is stability that is going to come into your life and a much better and healthier relationship is in is in line for you. So with that being said, let's uh, let's get our final message and find out from spirit angels and guides what you would like to share with us as our final angel message. Do not discount your imagination for it is through an inspired thought that something beautiful is created. You will soon be inspired by an inner vision. Your imagination is real. It can and will become your reality if you trust in the power of love. The imagination is a magical and creative force full of endless possibility. And that's the magician right there. You allow your imagination to flow. Don't let fear hold you back. Know that you are blessed, that the angels are watching over for you right now. And for some of you that might be going through a sense of deception and a sense of a broken heart, what you need to look forward to is the fact that you are a committed person. You are somebody who wants a long-term relationship or are in a long-term relationship, and you are ready to invest everything it is that you need into that relationship. You have been manifesting this for some quite some time. And with this to the sea, it's not something that you've thought of lightly. 
you have actually taken some moments out for yourself to really figure out what it is that, that you want in your love life. And you are now ready to go that distance. You are going through a healing period and you are manifesting this Queen of Cups energy, whether male, female, or, or gender, doesn't matter. This is somebody who is going to love you unconditionally and it's going to bring that sense of stability into your love life. Beautiful energies, Capricorn. I know that, that there is some healing that needs to be done, but where that healing happens brings stability, strength, and a whole sense of wonderment and, you, and imagination. And just know that you are very magical at this time, so use those magic powers towards your love life. Thank you so much. I hope that parts of this resonated with you. And if so, please leave comments because I love to read them. Uh, also, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing my channel as well. I appreciate the support. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.